going on, y'all? Let me just talk a little bit about this right now. Um, how that it's important that we do not give the enemy an opportunity. Okay. Um, quick testimony, quick little story of what happened to me and how I almost gave the devil opportunity, right? This is an example of what it means to not give the devil an opportunity and to always be alert and on guard, be vi vigilant, <laughs> be sober because your adversary walking to and fro, seeking whom he may devour, okay? Seeking how he may get one up through you on God. You know what I'm saying? Seeking to steal you. You know, to steal you from God to make you sin on God or towards or against God. All right. So let me tell you a little bit about how what happened to me. So I was walking to Subway and I was coming back across the street to get ready to come into this hotel. And um, as I was walking back up to the hotel, this gentleman... He, he had spoke to me and he said, hey, um, can I talk to you for a moment? You want to come and, and, and do this tour at Westgate? And then I looked at this at this sign in the front. They say receive one hundred and fifty dollars cash. Prime example how the enemy work. Now, here it is. I'm living one day at a time right I'm walking by faith and not by sight i'm trusting god to continue to keep providing for me as he did this is the second night he's provided for me to be in a hotel and so here it is i'm trying to help god now i see an opportunity don't get a devil opportunity i see an opportunity of something that i feel could benefit me right i'm leaning to my own understanding oh 150 cash 150 cash i asked him like come on what's the catch he's like oh yeah you get 150 cash they're gonna give you a two night stay at the resort for free if you just take this uh invitation and you take the tour of a westgate resort with them after it's done they're gonna give you this these gifts so i'm going like okay i'm listening to him he's signing me up for tomorrow he's making the appointment and everything and, you know, I'm going along with it, going along with it. So I get the brochure and everything. I get into the hotel room. I take a seat. I open up my journal and I start to pray. And I say, well, God, should I take this opportunity? Is this from you? And as I started to pray, the truth was revealed to me that this was a little, a little plot and scheme from the enemy. And I know me like, well, well, hi, that's like a blessing in disguise. Don't you need 150? Yeah, I need 150, but guess what? I ain't desperate for 150. Guess what? I ain't finna lie for 150. I'm not gonna do what God hates for $150. You understand? See, to whom much is given, much is required, and much is expected. And you and you often test it. When the Bible says don't give the devil opportunity, this is what it's talking about. Don't give the devil op an opportunity. And here it is. This gentleman was offering me an opportunity. But I don't need it because I got God. God don't need you to go to an invitation. He don't need you to go and lie on paperwork and say you make 60 grand so and so a year when you ain't even working when you work for god that's what the man told me they're gonna tell you to fill out this paper put you you make 60 grand a year and and make sure you put 28 on this line and i'm like lord that don't seem right why i gotta lie seem like i'm lying and immediately that's when god said yeah no that's not for me but see this is why we must always be on guard and vigilant guys because we always being tested stuff always popping up and sometimes it pops up like it's from god <laughs> oh this a blessing this this will help me look at god that's not a blessing god ain't sent that but because 
we got our mind set on earthly things. Oh, one hundred and fifty dollars. I could use that. And not on heavenly things. This is how we're easily deceived. This is how we're easily taken astray by these opportunities. These so-called opportunities that's going to cost you righteousness. It's going to cost you peace. It's going to cost you a right standing with God. See, the flesh puts enmity between you and God. And so guess what? Guess me what? After prayer, I say, oh, Lord, I changed my mind. I say, oh, Lord, forgive me. I will not be taking that opportunity because I got you. You're the creator of the, of the whole world. Why do I need to subject myself to a lie in order to receive compensation or feel like I got I got what I have. I'm not trusting God doing that. I'm leaning to my own understanding. And so see, when we lean to our own understanding, but then we acknowledge God, he would direct, he redirected that path. See? See? When we don't lean, but we acknowledge God, he will direct our path. But this is something that we have to choose every day, y'all. You got to do wisdom every day. Every day, every step. And everything acknowledge God. And he will direct your path. Your footsteps. So, I want to come and get y'all this revelation as I open up. Because this is how many get tricked. This is how many mess up. Make mistakes that don't need to be made. This is how we can avoid it, you guys. By seeking God and following his instruction. Alright, be blessed.